Hi there and welcome to this video about Solid Thinking Compose. Today we're gonna take a look at the Navier-Stokes equation and in this case you already know the 12 steps I did with MATLAB or maybe no and it's original from uh, Lorena Barber and in this case we will take a look at step one. So I did all the code in, in more detail in uh, the in the MATLAB video, so I'm just more or less going a bit quicker about all the theory stuff. Um, but in this case, we will take a look at how to do this in Python, and in this case, how to do it in Compose. So I'm starting Compose, and I already did the coding or copy pasting for you because I basically just used the Barbara code and changed it a little bit here and there, but there it is, and first thing to notice, you have now Python console, and I just go rather quickly about the code. Um, so we have some imports, NumPy is a popular library, um, I use it all the time, and also plotting, uh, matplotlib is also a very popular and quite good um, library you could use. And here are the boundary conditions for our case are set, so we have 41 elements in X, we have an uh, initial length of 2 divided by the number of steps we want to do. Um, that's the DX, so, so the space increment. Um, we have also a number of time steps we want to calculate. And we have a time step, which we all also set to a default value. And we have a wave propagation speed, so linear convection it is this time. And it goes like this. So you have a function u, and this, this function is defined as just once over a space of between 0 and 2. And then you take the, the points or the elements between 0 0.5 and 1 and set it to 2. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's like a hat. And you, all, you also can see it um, because you print it out here as an initial condition and also plot it. And now here comes the calculation. So you just create a temporary array where you want to uh, store the calculation for the next time step. You have two loops now, the outer loop over the time and the inner loop over space. And the first thing you want to do in the outer loop is to copy the current values you calculated into your temporary array, un. And then you, s you calculate un for the next time step. And how this is done, you can look up at the lesson. So it's like this step one lesson, and there are all the equations, and you can read about it here. I don't go, I, I don't want to go into detail in, into it, but um, yeah, it's rather, rather straightforward. All right, um, now let's just look at it what it does. Um, I can hit start, and you can see what it does here. So you have the head shape original, and then you have all of those curves, curves um, where the next time steps are calculated. You can change the numbers. So now, this is interesting. Um, I, I, re I read this comment about try to change this number from 41 to, to 81. And I did that, and look what's, what happens next. You have no deformation in your curve. So this is what you really want to. But in this case, you have the deformation, and what could that be? So I thought about it and came about the current Friedrich Levy condition. So in this condition, um, you relate the dt and the dx. So it is like, um, like how, how many cells a wave can propagate in one time steps, in one time step. And this should be one for ideal purpose. And if it's not one or if it's greater than one, something can go wrong. So, and for 81, I think it's just one. And for 41, it's, I guess the X gets small, gets, gets bigger. So it's smaller than one, but look what happens if I increase the X. Then you have this wave, which is which gets com completely out of control. You can also look at the uh, um, values here. So you have 
minus 9 to the power of, of 8, so really big numbers. And for 81, we have just the upper limit of 2. So there, everything input output is the same. All right, that's about it for step one. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I will be very happy if you leave a thumbs up or a like or a comment on this page um, suggesting what I should do next or how I can help you with your studies. Um, yeah, thank you very much.